to create the cat geometry for cul-de-sac alignment temporarily hide the main road corridor and surface this can be done using isolate object from the contextual menu to establish the lane widths use the use the autocad offset command from the modified panel in the ribbon following the cursor prompts specify the offset distance then pick both sides of the main road alignment to create the cul-de-sac bulb create a circle at the end of the main road alignment from the circle tools in the ribbon select center radius following the cursor prompts pick the center location for the circle using autocad endpoint snaps to precisely locate it in the command prompts enter the radius value for the cul-de-sac use the autocad trim command to remove all of the interior cad segments these will not be needed and removing them will make it easier to add the reverse curves. Use the fillet command to add a curve between the lane offset and cul-de-sac. Notice when you attempt to add the fillet, it does not accept the arc selection. This is because arc segments cannot be filled with polylines, only with lines. To make the polyline align, type explode into the command line. Then select both lanes offset polylines. Repeat the fillet command again to add in the arc segments. Start by specifying the radius you want to use. Then select the line and curve entities from the drawing. Do this for both ends of the cul-de-sac. To create an alignment from the CAD entities, select Create Alignment from Objects under the Alignment Tools in the ribbon. When prompted to select the first line, Pick south entrance arc near the end that you want to align, start your alignment. Select the cul-de-sac arc and then the exit arc and press enter. If the arrows do not reflect the correct direction of the alignment, click reverse in the command line. Otherwise, press enter. In the create alignment from objects dialog, specify a name for the cul-de-sac alignment and categorize it as miscellaneous alignment. Choose the style, layer, and label set along with the other options that you want to use. Then click OK. The alignment will appear in your drawing using the alignment style that you selected. To clean up your drawing, remove the lane offset lines and arc that remains. This can be done using the selected similar and AutoCAD delete command. Now that the culture alignment has been created, you can adjust the main road corridor to end it where the curly sack alignment starts. To make the main road corridor and surface visible, turn off object isolation. You can do this from the status bar below the drawing canvas. Select the corridor object to reveal the grips, then activate the end point grip. Use the AutoCAD snaps to reposition the end section of the, to the start of the curly sack alignment. Precision and accuracy are important when creating the cul-de-sac geometry. If there are any gaps or overlaps in the geometry, you will have problems later when you add the cul-de-sac baseline to the corridor. Make sure to save your drawing file.